Thanks for tuning in today to watch the first Piper Report of second semester. We hope you're enjoying your new classes. We have another exciting show today for you, including the beginning of a new series called Hamlin's Hidden Gems, where we're going to be visiting the Writing Center. Archivist Sandy Hart shares some interesting facts dating back to Civil War, and we asked some Pipers what are some of their classes that they're looking forward to this semester. All of this coming up. Our first episode in the Hamlin Hidden Gem series features the Writing Center. Located in the basement of the Bush Library, the Writing Center allows students to submit any stage of a particular writing assignment and get peer-reviewed in order to succeed in their writing. I think there's a misconception about writing centers that we are only for the bad writers. The idea of coming to the Writing Center is really to extend the learning that's taking place in the classroom and to do so in a way that allows a student to sit down with someone one-to-one. -one. So it's not about bringing a paper to the writing center and getting a better grade on that paper. It's about developing as a writer, using this resource to develop as a writer. You will come to the front desk, you'll meet the consultant, we call them peer writing consultants, and you'll sit down with that person one-to-one -one, and the student really determines what's going to happen in that consultation. Hey Pipers, Taylor here, reporting to you live from the Anderson Center. Spring classes are well underway and students are looking forward to what the new semester will bring. There are plenty of new classes that offer up variety and differentiality and students are super excited to get in there and learn something new. Let's take a look and see what classes people are excited to take. The class I'm most excited for spring semester would be Acting 1 because I'm an intended theater major and I hope to improve my acting skills. The class that I'm look most looking forward to this semester is Taekwondo, um, which is a Korean martial arts um, de self-defense and I think it's a really cool way to learn self-defense. I'm most looking forward to for spring semester is a coaching class I'm taking for swimming because I want to be a coach when I'm older and this way I'll learn how to be a good one. I'm most looking forward to the language phenomenon because it challenges me to incorporate the things that make me tick like all of my voices as well as my ability to sing and articulate with speech into my course. Hi everyone, it's Khan from the Piper Report. On Friday, February 1st, Adam Sher from Minnesota Historical Society and Candy Hart, who is Hamlin Archivist, presented their first Friday Forum, which is Hamlin University, Minnesota, and the Civil War. Hamlin was the first school of higher education in Minnesota, and it had only been open for a few years when the Civil War broke out. And most of the students, male students and the professors and one of, a, one of the former presidents uh, all decided to volunteer to serve in the war. So about 119 men took off. The first Minnesota Volunteer Infantry was um, made up of Hamlin students or professors, uh, which is, and it was the first um, regiment that was offered to the federal government for um, use in the Civil War. The women who made up the class of 1863 made a flag that's 9 by 17 feet out of wool bunting and it flew over the building in Red Wing um, after they made it uh, whenever they thought that it was an appropriate occasion to do so. That wraps up today's show and we appreciate you tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this upcoming semester and wish you the best of luck on your studies. I'm Zach Knutson reporting from the studio. Keep it classy Pipers. We'll see you next time.